Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to make some simple tables in Google Data Studio based off of Twitter data that I've pumped into a spreadsheet to analyze. Um, this is an excerpt from my course, Data Analysis the Lazy Way, and I hope it's helpful. Okay, back to the chart. So I connected actually our hashtag counting data source. Um, let's just look at a simple table of the top hashtags used um, from, from the kind of querying and splitting that we already did. Uh, so let's pick a dimension here. Let's just say all hashtags, which contains the hashtags. And then we have the count column, which as you remember, just contained ones for each hashtag. So right off the bat, we can see it's basically making a pivot table here. Um, we can see it has 10, 10 rows per page selected. Let's make that 20. Let's view a few more. Uh, we can just drag this down to view all 20 in a page. Um, and this is something that, you know, you could keep, keep this up at all times and just see over a date range. And over time, like, do new hashtags enter this kind of leaderboard? Uh, do they fall down the leaderboard? Is, this, is there a hashtag that's trending that you might want to start paying attention to? Um, and you can scroll through uh, these pages kind of infinitely until, until the end. Uh, let's look at a few more uh, options here. Obviously, if you wanted to sort lowest to highest, which wouldn't be that, that useful, you could sort ascending. Let's keep it at descending. Um, and let's also filter this. So say we didn't care about hashtags that contained growth. And so let's say hashtags contains, we're excluding here, growth. Um, because we don't like growth. And we just create that filter. Uh, and we can see right away um, all of those hashtags that contained growth are now gone from the leaderboard. Um, and we see our filter down here. 